Hey guys, it's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be checking out the Raspberry Pi Pico. So let's get started. Now this is the latest Raspberry Pi product from the Raspberry Pi Foundation, which is the Raspberry Pi Pico. And I said that a lot of times. Anyway, anything we talk about will be linked down in the description below. But yes, this is their new product on their lineup. To begin, it has a RP2040 microprocessor made by Raspberry Pi themselves, which contains a dual core ARM processor Cortex M0 Plus that could go up to 133 megahertz, 264 kilobytes of RAM, and two megabytes of onboard flash storage. What's cool about this is that there are two operation modes on the micro USB, where it could be one, a serial connector, or two, a mass storage device. And using that mass storage device, you could actually load your compiled projects onto there. And on the next boot up, it'll take those files and run those programs, which I thought it was a really cool feature. And this can all be done using their Raspberry Pi products using Tawny. They do have a full array of SDKs and everything that you could actually incorporate into VS Code and a bunch of other programs. So you could actually code almost anywhere, compile it, and then upload it to a mass storage device, reboot, and the code would be running. Or you could actually just upload directly and use their debuggers through the serial interface. Now, one of the coolest features that I do like about this is that it's got a USB 1.1 host and device mode, which means I could actually turn this into a little host device on something like a macro keyboard or something like that. And that is one of the ideas that I do have coming up that I want to play with this guy. Now, it does have 26 GPIOs, two SPIs, two I2Cs, three 12-bit analog to digital converter, and 16 PWMs. It's also got an onboard clock and timer and eight programmable input and outputs, which is PIOs. Now it supports MicroPython, C and C++. So if you're familiar with either one, which in my case, probably more MicroPython because I like playing with that language, that's what I'm gonna be using for this guy. And it also has 3.3 volts out. Now the size of the guys is actually very similar to a Arduino Nano. And I would actually classify this between the lines of a ESP, less than an ESP32, maybe close to an ESP, 8226, but definitely way more powerful than an Arduino. And no, this does not have Wi-Fi. But one of the main reasons why you would want to use one of these is because you want an embedded device, something that has like instant on that boots right up. So if you're trying to create something like a temperature sensor, you could probably hook up a DH11 onto this guy, plus a screen, which is a SSD 1306, something like that. You could make yourself a quick little temperature display. Or like I said earlier, that I wanted to create something like a USB interface where I could turn this into like a macro keyboard. You could use one of these for something like that. I will have a couple of projects coming up using the Raspberry Pi Pico. And that's when I'm gonna actually gonna do a full review on how to connect it through the software, how to install the SDKs, and basically communicate and program this guy, which I believe deserves its own video on its own. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.